Happy New Year. My name is Dr. Eva Feldman, and I'm director of the Neuro Network for Emerging Therapies. I'm also a big fan of Eleanor Roosevelt's, and one of her favorite quotes uh, for me is, with a new day comes new strengths and new thoughts. So to paraphrase that, with a new year, for us comes new science and new initiatives. And I'd like to tell you about four. One is our initiative with COVID. We have begun a new multidisciplinary COVID clinic treating patients with diabetes and the chronic complications of COVID. We're beginning to understand why patients with diabetes develop COVID complications and understanding better their immune system. We're very excited about this new initiative. Secondly, in our work with diabetes and the nervous system in those patients without COVID, we're starting three new trials. One is we are going to begin to feed animal models of diabetes with a drug called triolein, which is really a combination of good fats to see if that will improve their nervous system. Secondly, in patients who have diabetes and are overweight, we're beginning a new program comparing exercise with weight loss to see how that affects their ability to think as well as their ability to walk well and to feel in their feet. And finally, in patients with type 1 diabetes, we've begun a new program to do quantitative MRI and to measure their ability to think and to see how there are changes in the brain that correlate with thinking in type 1 diabetes. The third disease we're very interested in is Alzheimer's disease. Two important, exciting things are occurring. One is we are going to complete this year a large preclinical study of stem cells in mouse models of Alzheimer's disease. These stem cells will be implanted in the mouse brain, and we will see how that changes the course of Alzheimer's disease with the goal of being able to use stem cell therapy in man. And secondly, we are beginning to use new immunomodulatory therapies in Alzheimer's disease to see if the immune system, if it's boosted, can help cognition and thinking. And finally, for ALS, a disorder that I think you know I'm very passionate about, we are doing several new initiatives. We received new money from the National Institutes of Health to look again more closely why the environment, particularly now air pollution, affects the onset of ALS. We are also looking at, with new funding from the Department of Defense, how we can repurpose drugs that are known to affect the immune system in ALS. We are beginning a very new, exciting clinical trial where we're testing four drugs at once against no drug therapy in ALS. So it's a very exciting time. Uh, I think that the best is yet to come in 2021 for our laboratory and our research. And I hope also the best is yet to come for you this year. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you again soon.